Well, good morning. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone for being here at the Grand Wayne uh, in honor and recognition of the great contributions that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made to this country. And this is the 25th celebration of his national holiday, and it's a great day. Therefore, I have selected today as the day to announce my intention to seek my fourth term as City Council Representative for the 6th District of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The example of leadership demonstrated by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has been a major influence and motivation for me to seek and to hold public office. Dr. King was able to build relationships which garnered results and not just symbolism and for the past 13 years on City Council, we have developed bipartisan legislation which has allowed Southeast Fort Wayne to prosper. Southtown Mall became Southtown Center because local and state elected officials listened to Mayor Graham Richards, Tim Pape, and myself when we declared that Southtown was an eyesore and we needed to change that landscape. Most recently, we have witnessed the opening of the new multi-million dollar Renaissance YMCA, which will better serve the needs of the adults and the youth of the Southeast Quadrant. I was able to work with a very diverse group of YMCA board members and community leaders to spearhead the raising of over $4 million to get the project off the ground. There are a number of major initiatives that we will champion starting in 2011 in order to improve the quality of life for the citizens of Fort Wayne in general but particularly the impact the residents of the 6th District. The first one is Bank on Fort Wayne. It was announced last year by Mayor Henry, and I will work with Brent Waite out of the Mayor's Office, who will take the lead in developing this economic development initiative. This program will benefit those citizens needing to help improve their economic status and become homeowners or more financially stable. Two. Fort Wayne Disparity Studies, which will be led by Deputy Mayor Beth Malloy, will examine the many areas in government where women and minorities can eventually make gains in doing business with the city purchasing and consulting contracts. And last, many of you have recently heard of the Legacy Committee, which is formed by the mayor, to brainstorm on ideas of how to best utilize the $75 million for the Light Lease Fund. But it needs representation and inclusion of residents from the Southeast Quadrant. I am therefore once again asking the great residents of the 6th District to re-elect me so that I can continue to do good in the neighborhoods. Thank you. We will now, we will now take any questions that you might have. Uh, good question. They voted for me three times. Why should they vote for me the fourth time? And uh, number one, it's a wise thing to do when you have a proven leader with the accomplishments, which I've only listed a very small uh, list of them, that we continue to focus, focus on in the 6th District. Economic development, looking for continued improvement with jobs and development of business, very pro-business position that we've taken. You've seen the results. Uh, infrastructure, before I came into office, there was very little infrastructure done. Now there's almost 40 miles of streets and curbs and sidewalks which have been completed on my leadership. So I'm asking for a fourth term to continue the success that we've seen so far. Why do you want the job again? Why do I want the job again? I want the citizens to vote me back in the office for the fourth term so that I can provide the leadership that is needed. Any other questions? If not, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Please, got my back. Thank you. <laughs>